everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tina. Today I'm making um, Lebanese authentic tabbouleh. This is what it looks like. It is so yummy, you guys. Um, if you wanna see all the ingredients and how I make it, stay tuned. Okay guys, so for the ingredients, um, we're gonna need parsley. And uh, don't look at the amount that I have here. I have guests coming over, so I'm making a big bowl. But um, I like to use both kinds of Italian flat parsley and the curly parsley. You can use whatever it's available to you. It doesn't have to be the two kinds. You can just use Italian if you want, or you can use curly if you want. I just like mixing them both because I feel that the curly one gives me a little more volume. So parsley, um, green onions or scallions, whatever you call it. You're gonna need some tomatoes. Um, you're gonna need freshly squeezed lemon juice or if you don't have lemons available, you can use bottled lemon. I just love fresh squeezed lemon juice for my salads. Um, you're gonna need, this is optional. I like a little bit of spice in my salad. I just picked these from my deck actually. And I, I'm just showing you both of them because you can use any kind of pepper that you want. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the banana pepper today because there is too much green going on here. So I'm just gonna put one of these and I'm gonna take the seeds out. And again, as I said, this is optional. If you don't like things spicy, don't use this. Um, if you have, I had mentioned in my potato salad, if you haven't watched that, go watch it. Um, I had mentioned if you have fresh mint, it's better for salads, but I don't have any available right now, so I'm gonna use dry mint. I'm gonna need some salt, some extra virgin olive oil, again, if you don't have extra virgin olive oil or you don't like the taste, you can use any salad oil that you want. And the last ingredient um, you're gonna need is bulgur wheat. And different companies, they, they label it differently. Um, this, this is the number one and it's called fine uh, because they do come in medium and coarse as well. They're highly available nowadays in your international section of your grocery stores or if you have a Middle Eastern store ne nearby. So you're gonna need some bulgur wheat. So I'm gonna go and wash all my vegetables and uh, I'm gonna squeeze my lemon and then I'll be back to show you how I chop things and how I put things together. Okay guys, so I washed all my um, onions, I washed my tomatoes, um, I actually chopped my parsley in the food processor. Um, it's just easier this way, it saves me time, but if you're good with the knife, you like chopping things by hand or you don't own a food processor, go right ahead. Uh, just make sure you chop it fine and there is no rules in the kitchen. So. Um, the first thing actually I did is take half a cup of my bulgur wheat and I soaked it with my freshly squeezed lemon juice. So I'm gonna make this, uh, I'm gonna have this sit on my counter until I finish chopping all my vegetables. It just soaks up all the lemon and makes it soft. So, um, so with the onions I already started, you just make sure you cut them really um, thin slices. They have to be tiny. Again, with the tomato, I don't wanna sit here and chop everything and bore you. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. I just, and as I said, they have to be really small, like that. So I'm gonna, um, go continue chopping everything and then I'll come back to assemble the salad and I'll be right back okay everyone so I chopped everything um, as you can see the parsley the green onions the red tomato tomatoes red tomatoes um, and the banana peppers is in here I'm gonna show you 
what happened to the bulgur wheat. When I soaked it, it absorbed all the lemon juice and it's not as um, hard and crunchy anymore. So I'm gonna add this here. Let me center this. Okay, I'm, I added that there. I'm gonna put um, one teaspoon of dry mint. You need to be careful with dry mint because um, it could get your salad bitter if you put too much. I'm gonna use some salt. Again, if you're on salt restricted diet, um, don't use too much. And then I'm gonna take half a cup of my olive oil. I'll put all the measurements down in the description box below. Actually, it's not half a cup. And then if I need to add more, I'll just add more. And that's it, you guys. Like, this is so easy. The, I think the most uh, work is the chopping. Let me get a bigger spoon. Um, yeah, so the most work is the chopping. Um, and trust me, this is so good. It's well worth all the time you spent making this. that's it okay I'm gonna go taste it and um, I'll come back with the finished product okay so the end result I like to decorate mine actually in Lebanon we used to um, decorate our plates with lettuce leaves because that's how we eat it. We kind of um, take the lettuce, um, we put some tabbouleh in it, make it like a boat, and that's what, that's how we eat it. Sorry, guys, but it is so good. So um, I hope you try it. Leave me uh, comments down below if you like it and how it turned out. And um, if you like videos like this or you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, have an awesome day, you guys.